pimps, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Sims Bustin' Out. We are in our mansion house that has been officially put together with all the furniture we have now. And it probably looks about like it did last time, except I've added like one or two things that were left after I ended the recording. And I figured we'd spend today going back to the haunted mansion, getting some of the furniture there, and then shopping. Um, although, I mean, well, technically... If you're going by Sims time, we'll have to do that tomorrow, since it's already 7 p.m. and all the stores are closed. So, you know, weird things happen. What? What is this? Are you serious? Gosh. Ew! Get out of the toilet! It looks like she's throwing up. Okay, why does that chick, why does Claire go over and wash her hands every five minutes? She is the weirdest roommate ever. And I'm not even kidding you guys right now. I'm not even joking. Okay, we need to get out. <laughs> I love the chicken noise that just came out of that. Alright. Hurry up and watch a stupid show so I can get over with this. Okay, good. We're over with this. My bills will go up if we don't. <laughs> so this is our entire upstairs right here. Um, this right here is all the decoration we have. I decided that this room would be Yoshi's room too. So we can decorate it for Yoshi as he pees himself over and over again. I hate how the animals pee. That's why I don't... I mean, I love having pets, but at the same time, that's why I don't like having pets on this game. So, I mean... Eventually, Yoshi will probably have to go bye-bye because of that, but... Oh well. We'll not mess with that for now. And we owe bills! Awesome! $420 from our other house. Aw, I love that my scooter is parked right out front. I'll show you guys around the yard when we get back, too, because I know I haven't really done that yet. Um, so, whatever, we'll take care of that. Okay, what else do we want? What do we want from in here? Did I take those chairs? Why do I not remember what happened to those chairs? Were they still in the... Mm. Maybe they were in the um, crate and I just didn't even realize it. That's kind of weird though. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess that's one less piece of furniture that we have. Um, but we'll take all this other weird stuff. in it for your house. Um, I don't understand game logic most of the time. Okay, so here's this side of the house. You can always find a glow stick there, so be sure to get that um, when you see it's there because those are worth quite a few bucks. Um, over here there are two doorways out. They both lead to the same place. This is your backyard. This thing doesn't make any sense. Um, so, for right now, we don't really know what that means. Uh, it makes sense later, but it just looks stupid there at the moment. So, um, this is your side yard and your pool yard. So, yeah, you get a sweet swimming pool with this mansion. Not as big and round as the one at the clock tower, nor is it as big as the one in the gym, I don't believe. But, um, yeah, it's still pretty nice to have a pool, right? Um, outside of that, okay, cool, Giuseppe, you're a freak for trying to break in immediately. Okay, so you guys have seen this before, but I'll show it off again. Over here, um, I thought it was over here, yeah. If you keep going, there's actually a little parking garage stand thingy, or at least that's what I think it is. That's what I always assumed it was. I would park my scooter over there sometimes if I wanted to be super spiffy and realistic. So, yeah. Wrong button. I'm going to put some of this stuff up here. Yoshi! You can take some of this furniture! Because you're weird. Okay. You can have this sweet thing, the sweet mummy. Because you love mummies, don't you? And we can give you... We can give you a fountain, because you're fun. 
just give him all the haunted stuff. A knight. And... A fortune telling table. Doesn't that seem like you, Yoshi? With your pee? Okay, we might move some of that stuff later. But for now, I'm just gonna put it all in Yoshi's room. So... Okay, let's work. Now that our pockets are... Wait, where are they? Empty, except for that thing. That I don't know how to get rid of, so... Yay! Let's go see if Giuseppe has anything good for sale. We can probably play some jam session too, even though my stats are down. I really don't care for that. And thanks for trying to break into my house, dude. Okay, we gotta make sure we get to the... Oh my god, if I can drive! Go! If I can get to the jam session stage on time. We might actually find some goals now that we're moved in, too. Because, as I haven't shown off yet, we have a brand new goal sheet! Goal sheet number five! The final one in the game! So I guess you could say there are five official levels or worlds to this game. Um... Which, you know, a lot of people who have asked if they've beaten this game haven't. Oh man, we just missed it. Um, and by that I'm saying the people who have actually had the game for a long time have not beaten it. Um, although they've had it, so, you know, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Yes, get out of my face. Okay, we need to talk to the doctor after this. Up. Now we're gonna sell the stuff so we can have a little bit extra pocket money. What's up, Max? Hey, doctor, where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to the lab where I just saw fascinating demonstration on various industrial uses of hydrogen peroxide. Fascinating stuff. Because it dyes your hair blonde. Uh, would I be allowed inside? Oh, God. It's for scientists and discoveries. I donated 10,000 million siblings. Any big bucks for pennies. Oh, so we have to find him again. That's gonna be fun. How about a hug? No. Sure, sure. All right. So new goals. Finally, and this will lead us to our final job, which is in Virtu Chem. So Virtu, whatever chemistry lab, you know. But that's what this is leading to, and that's the one that you make a crap ton of money at playing. So. Make a significant scientific discovery, get a grant from Daddy Big Bucks, relationship 80, so yeah, we have to work on that. Earn logic 7. I don't know where we are in logic. Um, okay, we're at logic 4, so I'll have to work on that off screen. Um, I forget what the scientific discovery is, but I know it's something that you eventually find. I just can't remember what it is at the moment. So, well, we officially got a goal. That's pretty decent. Unfortunately, Claire does not have any, um, what am I trying to say, goal options at the moment because she lives with us. She's, like, really easy to take care of her goals and find her, you know. That's the biggest problem. And a lot of you have been asking if certain people can move in with you, like, or, um, just questions like, can multiple people move in with you, can so-and-so move in with you? Um, I'm pretty sure Giuseppe, Daddy Big Bucks, any significant character like that that plays a pretty big standard role in this game will not be able to move in with you. Um, anyone else? Yes. I mean, think about it, if Uncle Hayseed wasn't at his farm, that wouldn't make any sense. So, he doesn't 
live with you. He can't live with you. And that's my example for, like, Giuseppe and, um, the people like that, so. Yeah. But it is a good question. You guys are right in asking those kind of questions. Okay, I want to move this in here because this is more purple. I like purple. You guys know I love purple because I'm Madame Wario! Oh, maybe I'll move this. Sorry, I keep moving plants. Oh wait, no, the phone's there. I forgot about that. I forgot. Okay, forget it. I'm just gonna leave it there. Um... We'll put this next to the toilet so we're happier when we go to the bathroom. And the chair can go right in the middle of the room. Yes. Okay, I need to go to sleep myself. I'm with Claire. Even though it's now 5 a.m., but by the time we get up, the stores will be open, so that's what I'm looking forward to. If we ever... Hello? Thank you. She's such a freak. Oh, so what have you guys been up to? I guess I haven't really asked that question to my viewers in a while. Um, mainly because I'm always ranting about something that I'm doing, so it's like, what? That's lame after a while. Um, I will say that I can't believe how fast this year is going by. And that it's Technically, there's like, you know, not even ten days left of... There's not even two weeks, and hardly even over a week left of February of this year. Which is so weird that we're almost to the third month of the entire year already. It's like, hello, it was just the new year, it was just Christmas. And it's weird, because like, I feel like when I'm in the moment, like, things are moving really slowly, but then... You know, once I get to a point where I want to be at, like, if I'm working on something and, like, I finish it, it's like, oh my god, that took a lot more time than I thought. So, yeah, time is moving. That's what I will say. Um, it's very, very odd, too. Oh my god, we need to talk to you! Hey, Nora, how are? Hi, Coolio. Did I mention last time we talked that if I am elected, I will bring positive leadership to the community whether running for position, <laughs> you're part of the others, so you have red hair and you have red. What are some of your campaign <laughs> Um, I am so glad you asked. First, I like to make postage stamps less gross to lick. Awesome. Then I want to give everybody free shoelaces because everyone needs more shoelaces. And lastly, I want to overturn the law with a loophole that allows any citizen in Slim Valley to hold um, mayor, what? Okay, whatever, mayor election, whenever they want. Oh my god, how fun! These really stupid campaign ideas. You mean I could run for mayor right now? <laughs> oh yeah, you could, except O. Phil McLean beat you to it. He thinks the current mayor is doing a terrible job, so he decided to hold a new election, so... Yeah. Also, it's not quite the mayor. <laughs> it's definitely not. Uh, wait. If you want to interim mayor since somebody's running against me, I'd run your campaign for you. Just raise 10,000 symbols. Of course! Yes. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. We need to become the mayor then. So, let's see. Here we go. Take over the town. Give $10,000 fee to Nora. Gain popularity 60, and we're like not even at 30 right now, so that is intent. You virtually have to get everyone to like you. Persuade O. Phil McLean to drop out. Negative relationship. So yes, a negative relationship is necessary in this game. And I don't really think it's um, that hard to do with this guy, because it's so easy to get him to dislike you, as you guys probably saw earlier. Um, so yeah, you have to get everybody in the town to like you except him. Um, and we need to give her 10,000 bucks. So, let's see. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. Another goal. Set, set and ready to go. So I guess even though we want to spend money, we shouldn't be spending money. Isn't that lame? Ah! Detective Dan! Fine, we'll talk to you and then I will officially end this episode. He's 
still in love with us? Um, I'm just looking for something to do. I'm pretty busy with living and working, you know? Sure. Whatever. Right now, well, I just got the thing. The mayor has put me in charge of a public work project that I haven't been able to start. Can you help me with it? Sure. Um, the mayor wants me to figure out a cheap way to make a statue from aluminum. Uh-oh, here it comes. We've been saving those aluminum cans, you guys. Sure. Alright, I don't know. And... You'll have to collect about 30 cans and make sure your popularity is high, otherwise probably won't be worth as much your time in. Okay, so, collect 30 aluminum cans. We already did that because we have like 130 right now. Like, no joke, we do. <laughs> uh, hire a sculptor, which is probably, um, whatever the heck his name is, not Dwayne, but Dashell or whatever. Find sculptor's number. There's a lot of popularity stuff in this, if you can't tell, so that's why I'm saying episodes might become less more visual. But, um, yeah, that's all the time I have for now, you guys. It's been Madame Wario once again. We're getting popular, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.